Hello. In this video, I will be introducing a library called Abigail. The goal of this video is twofold. Firstly, it's to check my understanding and hopefully if I do anything wrong, someone will point it out so that I don't go on and do the incorrect thing. And secondly, it's if I do everything correctly, it will hopefully teach someone something new and in particular how they can use Jython to make use of this machine learning library. In order to demonstrate that, I will implement a function called, uh, a, a function which is the parabola evaluation function. Essentially the goal is I will create an evaluation function for a parabola that I have specified here, uh, negative x minus a or squared plus b, which is an upside down parameter um, with the with the maximum point at the vector b. So this parabola will be of n dimensions. x will be a vector, a will be a vector, and b will be a vector. Uh, well, can be a vector rather. To make things easy for myself, I will make a and b simply constants. But if you do want to make them a vector, simply look at some of the other um, evaluation codes that have been written within the GitHub library and you can have an idea of how you can, I think the word is instantize the, the class. I'm not a Java developer so I'm not sure what the terminologies are. And you can declare a, uh, you can declare a vector when you instantize a class and then um, do the same thing when you loop through using the for loop in the value function. So to start things off, we will obviously, uh, we'll, what we're really trying to do is write this class which has the um, part which initializes the function and then the um, method which also calculates the value. So my, um, my class will take on two parameters, which is a and b, and I will create two, ver two private variables, xval and yval. So xval will be a and yval will be b. The reason why I've chosen it is, well, I feel like it. And also, let's assume that b is zero if I mean, if a was zero, then b is like the y-intercept, so y-val, I guess, and a is really the the uh, maximum point that we're looking at. So whether it makes sense or not, doesn't really matter. This is my function. The next thing we want to do is create the method value, which, of course, is what we're trying to um, maximize. So to create the method value, the easiest way is just to copy what Knapsack has done, I think. Um, so we get a fair idea of what's going on here. Uh, and remove the things that don't really make sense. Turn value. So what we're trying to do is quite similar. Uh, we have x, which is our vector. Um, called data and what we're trying to do is let's plug in this function here again uh, XVAL and YVAL can be vectors, and if they were vectors, then you'll probably just loop through them in the sense that you would expect. But in this case, I've just left them as constants since it's easier to do. So once you've done that, now we have the value method done as well, and we can just create our jar file. 
think okay create our jar file build once that is all done then we can move on to actually writing some python code so writing our python code i'm just going to start again so to write our python code let's just copy our knapsack code first and we'll just, all we have to do is change the things that don't refer to um, our particular instance or our that don't re that refer to knapsack instead of parabola So let's just delete all that. Now this is the part that I'm actually a little bit confused about how it works. I think that the easiest way to, to do this firstly is, let's just say our dimensions, we're, 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 we have a five dimensional array, which is represents our, um, our X vectors in five dimensions. And we have our A and B values, which are five and 10. So what we're expecting is the answer to be a vector that is all fives. Uh, before I forget, I'll change this one. All fives, right. So how I understand this function is it sort of creates a grid, if you like. So if I set it to 10, it creates a grid from like zero to 10 or whatever, um, over five dimensions as indicated by dim and you will create that and you will search over that for the best value. So that's my understanding of how the function works and this is probably the part that I have a lack of understanding um, with respect to this um, library. So if someone can point me in the right direction that would be awesome if I'm wrong. If my assumption is correct then please tell me and that is amazing. So hopefully that's, that's all you have to do in order to um, actually add your own function into the Abigail library. So all we have, all you le have left to do is simply to run it and hopefully nothing goes wrong and it will spit out the answer. Okay, so it came up with a bunch of numbers. We have no idea whether it's right or not. So let's just print it out to see whether it is right or not right. So I think if we just have that print statement, it will print out the vector, um, the final vector that it found. So rerunning it again. We will see that all of them except for Mimic has found the correct solution. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you in understanding how the Abigail library works.